Alright everybody, yo peoples, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, we're in the, we're pretty much about to end the intermission here, as I spent a little bit time with you guys yesterday, during yesterday's stream, working on the settings for that so that it never buffers or it never chops in the video ever again. But we're here at the Korin's, uh, Korin's place, to, just to pick up a couple of sensu beans that were here. Uh, after the, uh, after we finished the stream yesterday for part 42 of this series, uh, I went ahead and I found all the Dragon Balls again so I could revive all the remaining people in the list that it would allow me to, such as Kui and the Cell Juniors. And apparently, I can't fight them as Gohan because the Cell Juniors and, uh, Rad and Kui want to fight Vegeta while Raditz wants to fight Piccolo, and we currently can't change to them right now. So, at some point, we're gonna have to change to those characters and then fight Raditz, Kui, and then the Cell Juniors in order to get their soul emblems. But, in order to get out of this transmission, we need to go to Kami's Lookout. So, let's go ahead and get this started, and let's get this Majin Buu saga underway! Oh, I'm excited, folks. We are in the last... We are in the last stretch of this game's storyline. And Bulma's still over here telling me that the Dragon Balls can be collected, even though we clearly know this already. I don't know why she keeps reminding us. But it's just a minor gripe. Let's make sure there aren't any collectibles around here. There aren't any. All right. Let's speak to Piccolo. Um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. Cue the time skip. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. One thing that's actually come to mind. Since we're able to revive villains that we pretty much beat throughout the storyline, doesn't that mean we can technically bring Cell back? And doesn't that just usher in a whole bunch of problems and bringing all these people back to life? But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So... What should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. That's actually not a bad idea. And not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. All right, head towards Capsule Corporation. 
So it looks like we still got a little bit more towards this intermission. But at the same time, we still gonna be going right into the Majin Buu Saga because, I mean, it's not gonna be like a whole series of missions just dedicated to the intermission itself. Because we gonna start this Majin Buu one way or the other. Before this week is over, this right, game story will be finished! So I can ask for his help. Hey, Vegeta's... Oh, I forgot to check with the uh, Android's training menu. We'll check with that after Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta's! I love how Gravity Room is just painted on in Comic want? Sans. Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger, so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? B but I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. You sure you want to do this? Ha! Okay, fine. I'm going to see if you have what it takes to fill in for Kakarot. Okay. If this scares you, then you're nothing! Don't underestimate me! <laughs> I love it. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I... I need to do some serious soul-searching. Wonder how long that's gonna take. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! Thank you so much! There's a lot of energy in this thing! Alright, so now we gotta head to Kami's Lookout. Again. 
Will this usher in the Majin Buu? Because I'm actually kind of wondering myself. If it doesn't happen, then this, well, I might as well just count this as the uh, intermission end for the Android Saga. But if this does enter in the Majin Buu uh, Saga, then I'll just leave the title as is. Yo, Dende! <laughs> Greetings! Yes! Hmm, let's see. What do you think? Thank you so much! One rainbow crystal. Right! Excuse me. What? <sighs> Huh? Yes. All right, so I guess we got to go see Baba. Baba Yaga. Hey. Let's see. You got a bag of gold dust. What? Sure. Right. Yes. Okay, so we got... I wonder how many missions we're going to be going through before the Majin Buu Saga actually begins. I'm at 12 minutes right now, and I want to kind of keep it under 30 minutes. But we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling that at the very least we'll start the Majin Buu Saga at the end of this video. If not, I'll just keep going until the Majin Buu Saga actually... Until the mission starts itself. But hey, I'm enjoying the game regardless. How's that sound? <laughs> what? Oh ho ho! You! Hi! Hand it over, bag of gold dots. Very well. Hmm. Sunken ship south of Kame House. I remember finding my first Dragon Ball. Well, second Dragon Ball there. What? Indeed. So now we need to go to Kame House. I think it's impossible for a person who has the ability to fly to ever drown in water. Because they can essentially just use their ability to fly to, you know, propel themselves through water. So if I ever hear a story about how a person that can fly drowns, that is... I, I call shenanigans. I call complete shenanigans. But we're doing a lot of fetching, so. Hey, whatever will get us closest to the final act of the game. Don't forget to set any soul emblems you've collected to a community board. Uh. 
in the adventure community, you can acquire skills that increase your HP and key. I think I can take this guy. I think I can take this guy. So this is a bit of a way off. Later! <laughs> Get out of my face, boy. And we completed another thing for the turtle school. I can't believe a ship that large sank. All right, let's see where this thing is hiding. Oh, is that it? Did we find it? Rainbow crystal! I got it! All right, back to Kami. Yes, call me. Keep your eyes peeled for golden animals. They drop rare items. Catch any that you find. <laughs> you handed over the item. Thank you so much. So what is it you're trying to do exactly? I believe that's already been explained. He's trying to increase Shenron's power. It does not take long for one to manipulate the properties of the Dragon Balls. Well, one who knows what to do, but at the same time, it's only a couple of seconds worth of time. That took even less time than the time it took me to beat down Nappa yesterday. What? Right. <laughs> Yo, Shenron! Hey! Head towards Goku's house on the map. Oh, now we get to mess around with all these other characters. If I knew this... I would have taken the time yesterday to actually beat up all these other people. It's only up until now that you tell me that I can. You know what? This is not going to be the start of the Majin Buu saga. This is going to be me finishing the intermission and then just... And then starting the Majin Buu saga in part 44. This is... I... Because... I, uh... Because we still need to beat up Raditz and we still need to beat up the Cell Juniors. So let's just take those guys on. Raditz is all the way here in Luka Village. And then Kui and the Cell Juniors are in their respective places. I want to take those guys down before we actually officially start the Majin Buu Saga. Because I don't want these guys to be lingering around and then I can't get to them just in case, you know, certain characters die at a certain time. So, yeah. This is the, this, I'm, this is going to be the intermission, uh, end. End of the Android Saga intermission. Then the Majin Buu Saga will 
start on the next part. But right now, Piccolo! I'll just here and see how long this piece lasts. And actually, you know what's well, funny? Now, the only character fun. that has actually been strong enough to actually give me a run for my money has been uh, Apple. Leave me alone! Be whatever you are. Let's do this. Apple was actually close to Gohan's level uh, when I beat up on him yesterday. I don't think I did that during stream, but I did it after. And he was like level 50 like Gohan was versus everyone else who was level 30 and below. So I was able to easily mop the floor with everyone except for Apple and his uh, his uh, Freezer Force henchman goons. So it's kind of odd how the jump in power scaling went up for him, even though technically he's pretty much weaker than everyone else that we've encountered. You know, lore-wise, he's pretty weak. But I have no doubt that when we beat up on Raditz, he's gonna be weak as well. And then the Cell Jr., they'll possibly be a little bit weak. And then Kree will probably be a little bit weak. Special beam cannon! Don't kid yourself, you could never beat me. No, I wanted to I wanted to do the special beam cannon and get a super finish, but I digress. Hey! What? See? Level 32. I'm gonna mop the floor with him so easily. Count how many seconds it goes by. <laughs> what? Be poetic if we take him out with a special beam cannon. That's actually going to be the only move we use. In a sense of poetic justice. <laughs> How does it feel to be taken down by the same move that killed you? has been beaten and we're gonna get his soul emblem too there it is and nice little level up there all right let's go ahead and switch the party to Vegeta because he has two opponents that he uh, we need to take down for him Alright, to the Gizzard Wasteland, to take down Kui. 
And then whatever you call the lands, and then the place where the Cell Games went down. That's the area we need to go for the Cell Juniors. You can view tutorials from the main menu. Those are adventure tips. Effects from meals, know-how, and communities can help in gathering Z orbs. Didn't think I read the rest of that, did you? Hey! Yeah. Kui's been revived with the Dragon Balls. Make him your new training partner. Wow. So, I've noticed that people who have henchmen with them, their levels are leveled to me. But people who I fight by themselves... No, actually, that's not actually true. Because... Because Raditz was just like level 32 and he had Cybermen. But now Kui has like two people with him and now he's boosted up to my level. It's weird how they do this. But I'll beat him nonetheless. Why? Because of Big Bang Attack. What? Spamming. <laughs> Let me think. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well now. <laughs> Who I? What? Oldest trick in the book. How is Vegeta getting fooled by a major look? <laughs> Answer, he wasn't. Okay, it's obvious that you want to be cheap and have your henchmen do all the work for you. It's just you and me. How did my guard break? I wasn't even guarding all that off for it to break in total. Like, what happened? Big Bang Attack! Big Bang Attack! Big Bang Attack! You're not even punching him! Nope, I'm using what works. But I'm not opposed to a little bit of close quarter combat here and there. Ooh, 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 I wanna, I really want him to, yes, yes, let me do this, no, 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 let me do this, let me do this, let me do this! I wanna finish him off with a big bang attack, let's see if we can do a super finish. Ah! I thought we could do it, but oh well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let me think. 
Side mission for Kui is done. Time to head to the Cell Juniors. And get that sweet, sweet Soul Emblem. Kui! Ugh. It really is a hopeless piece of garbage. And Vegeta's almost level 50. All right. To the cold Daiho lands. And then we'll go to Goku's house. You know, had I known there would be this many side missions still in the uh, intermission. You know, not just the side missions where we beat up people that we've already killed. But the side missions dealing with Gohan and increasing the power of Shenron. I would have kept the uh, I would have kept the stream going a lot longer yesterday. But oh well, I digress. <laughs> Easy prey. I was going in the wrong direction. I was distracted by the little hit marker. Hey there, kids. Hey. Oh, they're level 50. <sighs> Fine. Everyone else was weak, but <laughs> these guys, yeah, they're 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 stronger. So, let's see. Let's see how much of a hassle these little kids are going to be. So how many of you am I fighting at once? Stop that kid. It's not nice to point. No, you didn't just hit me with a solar flare. Okay, these guys are actually kind of a little bit smart because they can coordinate. Just a bit. One down, two to go. Well, so much for me keeping this under 30 minutes.
Sit down, boy. See, I can hit. I can hit with a beam attack too. Oh. Okay, his recovery was actually quite impressive. I will admit. That could have gone better. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the rest of them! I forgot there was more than three. For a second, I was thinking it's odd that uh, all there was like six or nine of them all around one area. Why is there only three stepping up to fight? I'm getting better at these point blank dodges, but when they interlock the beams, it's harder to dodge. <laughs> How did I dodge that? Damn you. I was trying to dodge the Cell Jr. I didn't know one was preparing a Destructo Disc. Sometimes I don't notice the attack names pop up underneath their belt, okay? I didn't know. Whoa! How am I dodging these and I don't see them? Point blank! In a row! Oh, okay, I got hit by it at the same time, but still. And then transforming, I frames me straight through the Destructo Disc. I'm not even gonna complain. Alright, that's still A rank, and we're level 50 with Vegeta. Is that all of them, or... Think. It... Oh, there's more. <laughs> Three super heal aids. Thank you. I know I'm going to need them. Well, now. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Fine. <laughs> All right, we beat all the Cell Juniors. Got some D-Metals, Ultra Power Proteins, a card, and some experience. Of which I am not opposed to. Cell Junior! <laughs> this proves that I've gotten stronger since the- Well, now. Ah, oh, come on! Why does it- Why does it interrupt? We're in the middle of the speech! <laughs> this should prove useful at some point. Ugh, <laughs> fine. Alright, now we're heading to Goku's house. Wait, it says there's a side mission there. Who else did we revive? I revived Dodoria, beat him. D revived Zarbon, beat him. Revived Raditz, Nappa, Kui, and Apple, and I beat all of them. And now we've beaten the Cell Juniors. Who else is left? Combo level boosts will increase the number of attacks you perform in melee combos. <laughs> Talk to Chi Chi after your training. Alright, first things first. Let's save here because we don't know what's gonna happen once we walk through those doors. So let's see what happens if we talk to Chi Chi. place, huh? Do what you can. Okay, so we have to be go we have to be Gohan. So let's switch and see if it'll progress. If it says it'll progress, then this will be where I ended here. Hi Gohan, ready to come home? Yep, I'm back bomb. Okay, Your so this was never quite finished with training either, but unlike him, I expect you to come home now and then. <laughs> no worries there, Mom. <laughs> All right, so this looks like this talking to Chi Chi is going to stop the intermission and progress us into the Majin Buu saga. So this is where I'm going to end it right here. I'll take care of that side mission that's outside of the house, uh off camera so I can just speed through that and then get the next part going. So with that being said, hope you all enjoy. Can't wait to see you all in the next video as we start to, as we begin to finish the final arc of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Hope you all have been enjoying this series so far. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always,